Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching, coming back, subscribing, all that stuff. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Um, I'm here to talk today about the new uh, filter uh, that's added to Luminar 2018, and that is the AI Sky Enhancer filter. It's super cool. If you're a current user, you get it for free. It's just a free update. It's a neat feature, and uh, I'm going to run through a few photos. But first, I want to talk about something, and that is that um, it's a free uh, update for users of Luminar 2018. However, there's a, a, also a special. If you're a new user to Luminar and you haven't ever owned it, you can buy it now. It's only $59. I think it's an incredible price. Uh, super good deal, honestly. And um, if you use my coupon code, which is Jim Nix, I'll put that down there. It's just my name. If you use that coupon code at checkout, you save another 10 bucks. So instead of paying 59, you get it for 49 bucks. That's, a, I think, a screaming deal. So that's for new users. You get Luminar 2018. Current users of 2018, as I said, you get this update for free, so just go get it. Just uh, click update, uh, check for updates in the uh, app and you'll get it. Um, if you have Luminar 2017 and never upgraded to 2018, you can actually upgrade for only $49. And once again, use my coupon code JimNix and you'll get it for $39. So super great deal. Um, and and I, I, you know, I love Luminar. I've got 90 plus videos out here uh, now. So tons of training and um, that's what I was talking about. So I'll hit the, uh, the link down below for you to check out if you want to go get that. And what I want to talk about now is the AI Sky Enhancer filter, right? So this is cool stuff. And, um, you know, I've talked before and you've seen it on their website and probably seen it in other posts from uh, the Skyland people, but they've spent a lot of time and effort building up their AI capabilities, AI being short for artificial intelligence. There's a filter called Accent AI, and I've got a video about that where I sort of break down uh, what that does for you, but the point is it does a lot. And AI to me is kind of the easy button. Um, you've seen all my video, well, maybe you haven't, uh, but you see that I've created a lot of videos. And what that means is I love to use filters and do stuff and get creative. And so you might be thinking, yeah, Jim, AI is just gonna take away my creativity, man. I just move a slider and it's all boring and it, it looks great and you know I lose all my creative you know, input into the, uh, the uh, output, right? The creative output. And I don't think that's true at all. To me, it's an easy button. It allows you to do things more rapidly so you can continue to create and iterate and, and move those creations further and faster. So I personally embrace this kind of stuff. I think it's cool if it saves me steps in editing. Hey man, I'm super cool with that. And I think you will be too. Let me talk about the filter. So um, skies are a big deal. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm always messing with skies and there's always lights, uh, you know, light you want to change or maybe some detail or maybe some kind of contrast or maybe some kind of color, that sort of thing. Now, it doesn't do everything that you would do um, if you're doing some, uh, applying some creative edits. It does a great job of certain things and, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you know, but the point of the filter is that if you're manually adjusting your sky every time, it becomes a complicated process, right? You got to mask it in, you got to do all these things. And this, this filter does a lot of that for you. So I love it. I'm still going to do my creative stuff on top of it, but I can see using accent, uh, I was about to call it accent AI, AI sky enhancer, and then doing my creative stuff on top of that. So um, what it does is it basically, number one, it detects the sky. I think that's a huge deal because it can figure out where the sky is in your photo and you'll see that in a moment. It also recognizes objects. So what this means is it's not gonna apply whatever it's doing to your sky to like a building, for example. It's gonna say, oh, hey, that's not sky. Let's not mess with that. Let's just mess with the sky up here. I've been using it on lots and lots of photos and it really works. Um, it does something called, uh, and I'm reading this off their site, semantic segmentation. I got no idea what that means, but it works, okay? So you can read about it on their blog. I'm not gonna waste your time reading that to you. It also does smart masking. So it literally does figure out where the sky is and it makes adjustments in the sky. I think that's amazing. Uh, and it does things like vividness and saturation and the luminosity levels or, or the brightness, you know, that sort of thing. And again, it's a free update. So let me, uh, let me close this kind of stuff and let's jump into the photos. Here we go. Um, I've got like eight or nine photos here. I'm just going to show you, right? Just watch the sky and boom, there you go, right? Regular sky and AI sky enhancer filter, right? So it figures out the sky. And if you look, it's even doing it around in between the branches of those trees, right? So super cool. Um, and it's just a single filter. You just go add filters and it's right there. It's a second filter after Accent AI. So AI sky enhancer, right? So I mean, I'm going to jump into my next photo because I don't want to take all day Boom, right? Look at that. Bright sky, I, you know, starts with a bright sky and dark sky. Now, the cool thing is, is, of course, I'm not gonna just stick with that 
one filter. It's not the only thing I would do to a photo, but I'm just walking through some different examples of skies from different times of day, different shapes. You know, this isn't all just, hey, there's a flat horizon and there's a sky and it figures it out. If you look at these, uh, let me go back, right? Uh, this first one, trees and buildings, very uneven, right? Building, a big V shape there, lights going off, it figures it out, right? This, uh, this is the bridge, uh, the Charles Bridge in um, Prague, it figured it out, right? So off, on, pretty cool, very intelligent, as I said. Here's a shot from Venice, right? Look at that, I mean, just wow, I just think it's making a huge impact uh, and literally no effort, it's one slider. Here's something cool, another shot from Venice, about the same place as that previous shot, slightly different uh, time of day, right? So later, this was a long exposure. Watch the sky, I think that looks great. But then here, here you go, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go stack Accent AI with it, and then watch this. And now Accent AI, it's gonna figure out what needs to be done. It doesn't impact what's already been done in the sky. So what I basically did is I took a photo that was bright in the sky and dark in the foreground, and now it's darker in the sky and brighter in the foreground, and that's because I use the two different AI filters. Now, they're calling these uh, this the third piece of the um, AI triangle, the third one being the foliage enhancer, and that's a good filter, but admittedly, I don't use it a lot. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but um, if you hear them talk about the um, AI triangle, that's the three filters they're talking about, Accent AI, AI Sky Enhancer, and Foliage Enhancer. Uh, anyway, so there's an example on that photo. Again, uneven horizon, you see all these sticks sticking up, and that was a long exposure, so I'm doing a combination of daytime, blue hour, short exposure, long exposure. I'm just trying to mix it up so you can see things. Uh, here's a blue hour from London. Check out that sky and that horizon, right? Very uneven horizon. You got a tree, you got all kind of building shapes, you got a lamp post. I mean, it looks great. I do that all the time where I get the HSL filter and I'll reduce the uh, luminance of the blue to create a darker blue sky. Uh, but then if there's things like the building, like I don't want it to be impacted, I gotta mask it out and all that. Boom, one slider and I'm there, right? So um, here's another one, right? So this is a, uh, a single exposure, obviously shot in Venice. And here we go, Accent AI. I think the sky looks better, but in here, I would probably stack it with tone, maybe saturation and vibrance. I don't know, I'm kind of winging it here. I wanna take the highlights down and maybe the whites a little bit and maybe give it a little bit of vibrance. I don't know, like I said, I'm just kind of playing around. But you know, very quickly, I went from blown out sky, effectively almost useless, to something, you know, it's probably a little too dark. I think I would maybe lighten that a little bit. Uh, some of that's my smart tone, but regardless, quick, easy to use, that sort of thing. A Couple more, right? One more time, boom, look at this sky. I mean, it's making those blues really pop. And the nice thing about it, and that's the same thing on this photo, is you can see the clouds a lot better now, right? So there and there. Um, and where was it? Here it is, there and there, right? The clouds are just taking more shape and having a lot more uh, kind of impact on the photo, which I like a lot. Here's a great example of clouds being impacted. So long exposure from Oregon, and look at that. I mean, this the clouds, you can see them streaking much better now up above Haystack Rock there. But before, long exposure, basically kind of blown out, but you can save it. And I think AI Enhancer, uh, Sky Enhancer did a great job. And then you might come in with these other filters, you know, and I'm just kind of winging it. I have no plan on this photo. Um, Look at that, oh, oh, I got the Sky Enhancer twice. Hey, I didn't even mean to do that, but there's an idea. If you wanna get even darker, just double up on that filter. I meant to grab Accent AI, I just got the wrong one, uh, but there's an idea for you. Accent AI to brighten the foreground and maybe give, give this photo a little vibrance. And how long did I just spend on those sliders? Like 15 seconds? And there's before and there's the after. And to me, that's a wow, right? So that's the AI Sky Enhancer. I almost call it an Accent AI Sky. AI Sky High, I don't know, I'm, there's a lot going on here, but AI Sky Enhancer, free update if you already own Illuminar 2018. If you don't, hit that link, save 10 bucks, get it for 49 bucks. If you got 2017, upgrade, get it for 39 bucks. Uh, hit that link, use my coupon code JimNix. Full disclosure, I'll make a couple of bucks. If you do that, that's called affiliate marketing and I'm an affiliate with these people um, because I love the products and I use them and I think they make my images gorgeous and that's why I use them. That's why I make the videos, and that's why I'm here. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. It comes out today. Link down below if you want to read about it on their website, and we'll go from there, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day, and adios.